Thank you very much and welcome to uh, this edition. Uh, today we are coming to you live from Nyandarwa County uh, at Old Kalau sub-county. And today is the National Potato uh, Day. This is the home of the humble potato. And today we'll be having a candid conversation uh, about this uh, particular crop. Um, our theme for this year's uh, National Potato uh, Day is the Partnership for Resilient Potato-Based Food Systems. And to me, and with me today, I have um, a distinguished panel of five, uh, two ladies and uh, three gentlemen. And I will start by introducing my guest before we uh, move on. Uh, we, we start uh, with this conversation. So my first guest, I'll start with um, the fastest guest uh, uh, who's sitting farthest from me. That is uh, Beatrice Nyamwamu. Uh, Beatrice Nyamwamu is the head of food directorate at the agriculture and food authority. She has served as the regulation, as the regulation and compliance as, as the regulation and compliance manager at the food directorate, coordinating a team of experts and stakeholders to develop the Irish potato regulations and food crop regulations, a sector that hitherto and regulated since independence. Welcome to the show, uh, Beatrice. Next to Beatrice is uh, Mr. Washira Kagwongo. Mr. Washira is the Chief Executive Officer of the National Potato Council. He has over 20 years of experience within the agriculture sector. In 2019, he was appointed to be one of the, uh, one of the World Potato Congress International Advisors. Welcome to the show, Mr. Kagwongo. Thank you. Next to Kagwongo is uh, Dr. Dina Cheruta Oborus. Uh, Dina is a senior research associate at the International Potato Center based in Nairobi. She is currently coordinating the Potato Value Chain Development Project. And farmers uh, whom she works with uh, like referring to her as Mama Viazi. Welcome to the home of Viazi, Dr. Dina. Thank you very much. Next to Dina is, um, sorry. Next to Dina is Dr. M um, Moses Nyongesa. Dr. Moses Nyongesa is the research scientist at the center <coughs> and the center director of the Kenya Agricultural Livestock and Research Organization, CALRO. He has more than 15 years uh, of research experience within the potato value chain, contributing towards integrated approaches uh, for sustainable potato production. Welcome to the show, Dr. Thank you, Philip. Last but not least uh, is Dr. James. Karitu. Dr. James Karitu is the County Executive Committee member of the County Government of Nyandarwa. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Dr. Well, I'll go straight uh, into the conversation, and since we are in uh, Nyandarwa County, I will start with the CEC. I want to see just start by uh, welcoming us to Nyandarwa, the, the home of the humble potato, and tell us a little bit about uh, what uh, the county and the the farmers are doing when it comes to potatoes. Yeah, thank you. May I take this opportunity to welcome you on behalf of His Excellency Governor Francis Kenemia, the governor of Nyandarwa County, to this uh, great county of Nyandarwa. This is a county where uh, is actually basically the food basket for this country. Mm -hmm. And also you realize uh, potato is our key, major number one uh, uh, crop that we are actually promoting in this county. Mm -hmm. And uh, we pride ourselves by saying that we produce about 33% of the national production of potatoes. Okay. Uh, so welcome to Nyandaro as we discuss these issues of potato. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you uh, very much, uh, Bonasias, for um, inviting us to your county. Uh, let me start by 
the production. I know you've already talked about uh, Nyandarwa County produces 33% of the entire uh, production of the country, which is um, not uh, a, a little amount of potatoes. So when it comes to, pro uh, to production, maybe I'll start with uh, Dr. Nyongesa. As, uh, 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 maybe you can tell us a little bit about what Caldera is doing, especially when it comes to potato production, and where mm. are we as a country? Uh, thank you very much um, for inviting Caro to participate in this discussion. Um, the Kenya Agricultural and Livestock Research Organization is uh, the principal national, res na national organization responsible for generation of technologies on crops, uh, livestock, soils and water, and the dissemination of those technologies. Uh, to support agriculture in, in, the, in this country. Mm -hmm. uh, so to do this, uh, the organization is structured uh, uh, along uh, I independent institutes, about 16 of them, which are uh, scattered across the country. Um, where we are now in Nyandarwa, we have one fully-fledged uh, such uh, research center and a sub-center, so two of them are hosted in this county. Uh, when we talk specifically about potato, um, potato, the potato farming community in Kenya is supported by uh, a caro center based in uh, Limuru, in, in Kiambu County at Tingoni in Limuru. Um, as we profile the production of uh, potato in the, in the whole country, um, we talk about the number of farmers who are involved first of all about 800,000 going to 1 million. Mm -hmm. And uh, annually, they produce, um, um, they, they do farming on over 150,000 hectares, uh, realizing about 3 million metric, t metric tons. Uh, this is significant because it is a massive contribution to the national economy. Uh, we value this at, uh, at around 50 uh, billion Kenya shillings annually. And uh, to this amount, to the credit of, uh, of Nyandaro County, um, about 600,000 uh, metric tons is contributed by this, this important county. So you can see that uh, um, as we are talking about production, mm -hmm. there are very many uh, farm, farm families who are dependent on this uh, important food crop. Um, and uh, coming back to the event of today, uh, the National Potato Day is happening against uh, a background of uh, increasing food insecurity. Talking about uh, 1.8 million Kenyans uh, facing starvation, and this is uh, projected to increase to 2 million. So this underscores again uh, the, the, the importance of this, this, this key crop, uh, because um, it is a short season crop. In three months, you have a crop. So as the country and as the counties where potato is, is grown, uh, think about food security. I think we need to focus more about uh, short-term crops like potato to turn around uh, when cropped to realize uh, yields and, and produce that can, can serve the country. Okay. So as CARO, we support this through generation of technologies, on a whole range of things covering uh, production, crop protection, pest and disease management, post harvest, and, and all, all, all that. So we will be talking about this a little more, uh, but for now I think that is what I can say about production. Okay, thank yeah. you uh, very much, Dr. Ari. Let me come to Dr. Dina uh, a little bit. Uh, maybe tell us a little bit of what the International Potato Center is doing also when it comes to improving the production of the country now that uh, we are at uh, 300 uh, 3 million metric tons. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, let me thank the KTN for really organizing this uh, international or national project today. Uh, this is the second time, and it's an opportunity to tell out uh, to the farmers and to the stakeholders the importance of the potato. Mm -hmm. So um, as, I, as you have already said, I work at International Potato Center, or simply called CIP or SIP. SIP is a CGIAR center uh, that is... Uh, 
for research and our development for potatoes. So it has a mandate for potatoes and sweet potatoes. But today we'll be talking about potatoes. Mm -hmm. A CGIAR center is a leader in agricultural science and innovation, uh, delivering transformation that is required uh, by humanity in terms of the crop. So it cuts across. But potato is just uh, sip is only for potato. Now sip, um, as I said, is research for development for potato, and it delivers science-based innovations and technology to enhance access to nutritious, affordable food in a resilient environment, sustainable environment, creating a uh, job, job creation along the chain uh, to be able to make sure that the farming community globally are able to benefit from this crop. Uh, we are present, C CIP is present in globally in about 20 counties, a uh, country, sorry, and here in Kenya, uh, in, in uh, Kenya we are present in nearly all the 20 counties. So we are working in nearly all the 20 plus counties that are producing the potatoes. In Africa, um, our office, our head office is based at Ildri campus, which is in Nairobi, and uh, we have about 11, we are present in 11 countries in Africa. So what we do ourselves as an international potato center, as I said, we run right from the genetics, so from the gene, from up to the seed, all the way to our consumers. So from the gene to the fork, uh, to the farm to the fork. So we look about technologies, we think about innovation, we think about practices, but more so we look at you know, innovations and technologies that are going to increase productivity. We look at our, our varieties that are can be utilized in different ways, either for consumption or they can be processed. We look at um, technologies, whether it is seed technologies, uh, like um, uh, storage technologies or rapid multiplication technologies to be able to increase the starter material. We look at the agronomic practices, the business skills. Just along the chain, we are able to look at the potato crop um, holistically uh, along the chain. All right. Um Thank you, Dina. Let me come back to the CC. Um, tell us a little bit about how the production is in Nyandarwa County and what, um, what the other part of the country can borrow from Nyandarwa, especially when it comes to production, if they want to improve their product. What is Nyandarwa doing right that the, the rest need to replicate? Yeah, thank you. I think uh, in, in terms of uh, in productivity, we are focusing on increasing productivity. And uh, this goes on with the issue of uh, capacity building of the farmers. Mm -hmm. We've been training our farmers. Uh, thanks to some of our development partners, GIZ and um, the Irish uh, government, uh, for giving us support in this area, uh, because we are actually training our farmers through the model of Farmer Field Business School, whereby we are bringing in 20 to 30 farmers together. We take them through from uh, lab preparation, provi providing them with the certified seeds, all the way to the kind of other inputs that are required until harvesting and how do they handle that after harvesting. So this has, uh, currently we can say we have uh, trained more than 20,000 farmers, mm -hmm. which is, uh, and we have seen a lot of improvement in terms of increasing the productivity. Currently we are estimating our productivity to be approaching 20 tons per hectare. Uh, compared to the national average, which is much lower to around uh, maybe around eight, nine, tens per hectare. So we, we, we feel that uh, as a county, we are trying to do that. The other issue as a county government, we are also having issues of subsidizing in some of the inputs. We are buying some of the farmer groups, some of these certified seeds. We are also, in the same time, also giving some farmer uh, subsidies, subsidize the fertilizer and also trying to promote other activities like uh, mechanization. Actually, in Nyandarwa, we have got a mechanization which is focusing on potato mechanization. We've got uh, potato, potato planters, potato ridges, uh, potato harvesters, and uh, this kind of uh, trying to introduce our farmers so that they can farm more commercially in terms of uh, potatoes. Uh, okay. Before we, we go to uh, the, the, the mechanization part, because we are still coming to it in this conversation, yes. uh, in terms of seed, uh, seed has been one of the biggest problems when it comes to potatoes. I also grew up in a farm and I remember we used to recycle last season's uh, seeds, uh, 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 crop as our next season uh, seed. How is Nyandarwa doing to ensure that uh, the seed that the farmers are, are getting 
is the right and uh, of good quality. Yes, we are introducing them, that, ensuring that they get the right quality seeds. The other issue in Nyandarwa, we have already invested with assistance from the EU on a potato seed multiplication uh, project uh, through tissue culture, which we are supposed to launch any time from now. It's ready and the production is almost now getting through that program. So the issue of seed, as you have indicated before, is that uh, we are also, as a county government, supporting various groups of farmers with the certified seeds. Uh, so, yeah. so I was saying that we are actually supporting the farmers in terms of the certified seeds. One thing for sure is that uh, we have encouraged and farmers now are demanding to get the certified clean seeds for farming and that is a way positive way and uh, for us to be able to increase our product. We are working very closely with Caro, uh, Dr. Nyongeza here in terms of uh, issues of seeds. We have uh, as a county government been able to buy seeds from Caro for our farmers. We are also buying seeds uh, for, from other, uh, those other people who are actually dealing with the uh, potato seeds. So this is the basic issue on seeds. It's, uh, so for us in Nyandarwa, we find it to be very critical because and that is why I think we are the only county now that has been dealing with this uh, issue of seed multiplication through right. tissue culture. All right. Um, Mr. Nyongesa, uh, you've been, uh, Dr. Arias talks a little about what Calvary is doing. Maybe you can expound more on um, uh, what uh, the National Potato Council is doing, especially when it comes to uh, seeds uh, multiplication and how does it get to the farmers? <coughs> uh, thank you. Um, first let me thank you thank the for the good work uh, in terms of um, bringing us together here and uh, creating awareness about what's happening in the industry. Um, National Potato Council um, uh, is a PPP, public private partnership, so that uh, uh, we all know who we are. And um, it brings all the stakeholders together, including the institutions that are here, they are our members. And um, we uh, came together so that we, uh, we try to address uh, issues in the industry together. We, we provide forum for discussion, engagement, showcasing, and uh, also uh, packaging uh, innovation and technology and disseminating. And um, some of the issues that have been having uh, 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 an issue, I mean, uh, one of the problems that we've been having in the industry is seed, among others. And seed is key in terms of um, uh, improving productivity and even the quality of, uh, of what is produced. And um, because of the shortage for a long time, we've been having uh, very low uh, quantities, uh, high demand. And um, uh, with the efforts, we've had um, a few farmers uh, coming into the industry, investors in terms of uh, seed production. We've been uh, providing that information in terms of uh, the high demand for seed and um, what uh, variety it is demanded. And this information we provide to the investors, any, anybody who is uh, willing to invest, and we support them and we connect them to various institutions, SIP, Cairo, and um, uh, others, including CAFIS and provide information in terms of how to produce. And then um, uh, it, it happens that uh, even after the uh, investors enter into the industry of producing seed, <coughs> uh, we still have some challenges in terms of the distance. Uh, they are far removed from most of the farmers. We have like Kisima in Meru, we have um, uh, Agrico in Akuru, we, we, we have ADC in Akuru again, and uh, they are far placed. Uh, looking at, um, um, I'm, look, I'm mentioning this one because they are the major one. Uh, they are far placed from for farmers. So even uh, moving or farmer moving from their place um, of farming to get the seed is very far. It's, dist it's quite far, and um, you find that they are also buying um, a few bags, one, two, three, four bags. So what we have done is um, come up with a, a, an innovation, what we call a digital platform, where first farmers can uh, query to know who is selling seed where and uh, what variety, what place, uh, and once they query, they can get the details in terms of the, um, uh, the contacts. And um, of late, we have gone further to improve uh, because sometimes farmers, farmers would get the information, call, then they don't find seed. And then they may even travel and then go there and find seed is finished. They may, also, may, they may also go there and buy five, six bags. They have to uh, hire a, a pickup 
and it becomes very expensive expensive transaction cost is very high so what we have done is that um, we, we have tried to uh, help now uh, make them be able to order for the next season so that this information we provide to uh, seed producers and aggregated uh, data in terms of uh, how many farmers want what variety of seed where and uh, we, we, we provide that, and then we also help them using a logistic company to transport to where the farmers are. And uh, we started this one the, the last season. We transported about 3,000 um, uh, bags of seed all over the, the country, and we expect this coming season we will do more. So we have been providing information about seed through the digital platform. Uh, also, we have what we, uh, what we call variety catalog, which lists all the varieties. We have over 60 um, uh, varieties that have been um, registered in the country. We, re we, we list, we give details of what these varieties are supposed to be uh, used for in terms of utilization. We have some for processing, processing into clips, all chips, radical chips. We have some for table, and um, uh, all these is provided. And then uh, how to grow them, where you can grow them, and where to get them. Okay. So these are the kind of information we provide to, to farmers. And we work with the, um, the, the, the partners who are, and these are our, some of them. Others, um, uh, I mean, we have others, many more. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Kagwongo. Maybe we go to uh, Beatrice Nyamwamu a little bit uh, to tell us what they do at the Directorate of um, uh, Food Authority uh, in terms of ensuring that even um, the policies that come from that end also favor the farmer at the end of, this, uh, of the day. Because we saw the 2019 uh, potato regulations. Uh, some have been accepted, some have not been accepted. Thank you very much, Keitani. I take this opportunity to thank uh, KTN for bringing us all together. Sometimes as government institutions, we work independently, yet we are supporting the same farmer. But we are happy that today we are sharing the same platform and disseminating information to our stakeholders on what we do. AFA as it, as it is, is a big institution in this in the Ministry of Agriculture, Livestock, Fisheries and Cooperatives with seven directorates. These directorates previously were the state corporations in agriculture uh, handling various commodities. The food directorate is the youngest directorate in AFA that came into existence in 2014 with the formation of AFA. This is because when you look at the food subsector, it has never been regulated actually since independence. And you find that there are a lot of bottlenecks cutting across not only on potatoes, but even the other commodities that contribute to our food security, including maize, including rice, including wheat. There are a lot of issues that really need to be sought out through our directorate. To come down now to potatoes, in 2019, we coordinated the development of the Irish potato regulations, and these regulations were actually demand-driven. We were coming from a sector of potatoes where there were no regulations, and therefore there was unfair unfair practices right from the farmer to the traders up to the processors. At the farm level, this is the only country that talked about a bag of, an extended bag of potatoes in this era, in the 21st century, where measurements of produce have been standardized internationally. Kenya is still talking about an extended bag of potatoes. So we came in and initially, we wanted to do a set of regulations that cuts across all the food crops. But the potato stakeholders put a lot of pressure on government because of the malpractices we were seeing in the sector. So then we cut out the potato crop from the other 22 commodities and decided to fast track the development of these regulations. 
as we'll discuss further deep into the regulations, we will see what is contained in there and what they are intended to sort out in the sector. So as I say, um, our directorate regulates the food subsector, including potatoes, for sustainable development. So in there, we will have issues of promotion, issues of um, uh, enforcement, and issues of market research and, develop and product development, which we can unbundle as we go on in the show. Okay. And in relating to the seed, what we do as food, quite often we work closely with Calro. Several times we've walked into Dr. Nyongeza's office and demanded him to give us information of the newly developed varieties. And he has given us this information, and as a directorate, we package this information and disseminate to the county governments so that they can use that information to train the farmers because our ultimate goal is to improve productivity. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Beatrice. Um, I'm told we need to go for a short commercial break, uh, and then we will be back in a few. For our viewers back at home, today we are coming to you live from Nyandarwa County, and today is the National Potato Day, and we are talking about uh, matters uh, potatoes. We will be back in a few. Tu tu e amor, tu e Marisa, quem é a gente? 